Good morning! <laughs> no, I did not put these segments in here to torture you guys. I just wanted to show the reality of mom life. Weight loss and weight maintenance has a lot to do with your stress levels. So learning how to properly manage them is so key to any weight loss program. I think she's teething or something, but... They're still sleeping? Yeah. Uh, they're tired. They're tired. Okay. Okay. So she's in daycare. She's feeling much better. As soon as she gets around kids, she's fine. But when she's at home with mom and dad and she's teething, it is just horrendous. Her screaming and crying. I'm sure you guys can relate. If you have small children, um, please tell me there's a light at the end of the road and she's going to stop teething someday because that would be fantastic. I'm going to go home and start my workout and we'll see what's for breakfast. I know I'm super boring because I start every day with a bunch of plain water. Honestly, caffeine makes me feel like a crackhead. <laughs> like super jittery, super uncomfortable. My hands get all clammy and it's it's just an awful experience. And it keeps me up at night. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but I just got my eyebrows and my eyeliner tattooed. So it's like really patchy and goofy looking and I can't wear makeup. So full disclosure, <laughs> let's move on to the workout. So today I'm gonna to start my workout with about 15 minutes of different random core exercises. I just do really whatever comes to my mind. And then I'll head outside for probably about a 40 minute walk. I try to do two to three sets of 16 reps for each exercise, but this can vary depending on the day and how I'm feeling and what type of workout I had the day prior. Okay. So I feel so much better after getting a little bit of exercise. I love being a mom. I do. It's just really overwhelming sometimes. And you just need to get away and get a breather and get some exercise. After some core work, I am going for a little walk. I usually go for a run. If you're new to my channel, I'm really big on running and strength training and biking and hiking. I just, I love exercise and I love to be outdoors, but I have some weird injury I sustained from having my daughter where my hip just feels totally out of place and it gets really, really painful to even walk. So once in a while I have to take like a week off of running and kind of heal a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. And because of my permanent makeup I just got, I'm not supposed to do any like profuse sweating. So I have to be careful not to like push the color out from the sweat. By the way, it is an absolute gorgeous day. Um, this is a park nearby my house. It is actually like freezing out today. It's like 40 some degrees in Wisconsin right now and it's the end of June, so. After like maybe a 40 minute walk, I'm going to get some work done and start some breakfast. I will see you guys back at the house. Uh, hello, LeBron. Hello, Billy. <sighs> Cute babies. So I'm just gonna thaw out some frozen berries for my oatmeal I'll be having in a couple hours. I usually include like a variety mix to make sure I get different kinds. Mm. Aw, look at that basking in the sunshine. All right guys, I'm gonna get some work done and then we're gonna start breakfast. Okay, 
So this is legit. <laughs> this is something I am obsessed with. Every day I eat this entire bag of vegetables, raw vegetables. And I know it's also a terrible habit, but I tend to eat this while I'm working on my computer. Uh, let's see what's in here. Broccoli, cauliflower, there's some sugar snap peas, some zucchini, and some carrots. So I'm just gonna take some batch cooked oatmeal I have left over from the other day. And I'm not gonna use a ton, because I'm not very hungry after all of those veggies. Okay, so I'm gonna heat this up. And it looks like my berries are thawed for the most part. And then I'll be adding some cinnamon, some cloves, nutmeg, and allspice. The way I eat my oats is always the majority of them is berries. Berries happen to be the most antioxidant rich of all fruit, and they are extremely low in calories. They have tons of fiber and they are very filling. So that's going to be the rest of my breakfast. And I will catch up with you guys for lunch. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. So yes, I'm still eating at my desk. And yes, I know this is a terrible habit, but I have not found a way to enjoy a lot of raw fruits and vegetables and still have time to <laughs> get all the things done that I need to get done. But I have a client session in about a half an hour. So I'm gonna eat this finish up what I'm doing and I will, like I said, see you guys for lunch. If you're trying to lose weight and you feel like you're getting stuck or you're struggling along the way, don't feel like you have to do it alone. I offer free consultations for anybody looking to get to the next level in their weight loss. All you have to do is either click the link below in the description box or in the comment section and you can schedule a free session with me within the next two weeks. I thoroughly enjoy getting to know people and helping them through their weight loss journey. Don't suffer in silence. Don't struggle by yourself. Feel free to reach out to me. Okay, bye. Bar. It is freezing outside. So I'm just going to heat this up and eat that before my next meeting. But I just want to kind of explain my thought process behind this. First of all, I'm sure you've noticed that everything I'm making is leftovers. And that's because I'm huge on batch cooking. I batch cook everything. And that basically, it just means that when you cook, you cook several portions of something as opposed to just cooking it once and then being done. And then the next day having to cook another and then the next day another and another. I don't have time for that. And I don't have the patience or the energy to be honest. I am not huge on cooking and baking. I enjoy them, but I don't wanna spend a whole day in the kitchen. And sometimes I do batch cooking, but then the next day and the next day and the next day, all my meals are taken care of. So I can literally designate one day or two days a week where I'm meal prepping and batch cooking. And then the rest of my week is just free to work and play with my daughter and spend time with my boyfriend. So yes, I made this pasta about two nights ago and pasta, I feel just gets better with time. All the herbs and spices really get a chance to resonate with the other flavors like the onions and the garlic and the parsley and the cilantro, cilantro, where'd that come from? <laughs> the oregano and the thyme and the basil. So this is gonna taste delicious. And the oatmeal I had for breakfast, that was delicious. It does not taste like leftovers to me. It just tastes like wonderful whole natural food. 
And I think after you start eating this way for a while, you really grow accustomed to that and you don't mind it as much. I know some people are really big on not eating leftovers. I used to be that way, to be honest. And I love my leftovers now because of the convenience and the flavor. But what I wanna say about this is I am maintaining my 30 pound plus weight loss. So I'm not going to eat a ton of the noodles. Like even though pasta has a ton of fiber, this is whole grain brown pasta, brown rice pasta, gluten-free for my uh, celiac complications. But most people eat a ton of the noodles and then they'll just put a tiny little bit of the veggies on top. This is not only veggies, this is also red and brown lentils. So there's a buttload of fiber in here and water. And those are the two major components you want in your weight loss meals or your weight loss maintenance meals. But I've kind of inverted the standard American version of pasta where they would have a ton of the noodles and then they would have like a tiny little bit of veggies and sauce on top. First of all, this sauce, there's no oil, so it's it's completely SOS free, very, very low in calories. It's just natural tomatoes. I'll actually link the recipe so you guys can check it out if you're interested. It's really yummy. The trick is to use a little bit of noodles, a lot of veggies, pile it on with the tomato based sauce and the veggies and you will have no problem maintaining your weight loss is just the same as I did with the oatmeal. I piled on the berries and had just a little bit of oatmeal. So you're not getting a ton of those higher, rich calorie dense foods. You're packing in the fiber and the water with those lower calorie dense foods and then adding in the starches. So I will show you how I do this again for my lunch, or for my lunch, for my dinner in a few hours because I intermittent fast so I only eat like six to seven hours a day usually, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. typical salad that I would make weekly and this container is amazing because it actually keeps it super fresh for that whole seven days. I have another video on that if you want to check that out I'll link it here for how to batch prep salads and like how to go about getting the most nutritious ingredients you can like those cruciferous and the onions and the mushrooms and everything that you need to make sure you're getting the biggest nutritious bang for your buck. So this always happens when I open up my salad to see all the condensation. So you're gonna want to wipe that off every time you see it. That's what helps to keep this salad fresh. The more condensation, the quicker your veggies are going to wilt, especially those mixed greens, or I'm sorry, the mixed, the spring mix. That always seems to go bad the fastest. On the salad specifically, there is just a mix of greens. There is tomatoes, onions, red peppers, as well as sprouts, red cabbage, cilantro, watercress, a bunch of different mixed greens. And then I have my batch prepped beans that I'm obviously running out of, but I have more soaking in the fridge. Um, I also have a video on how to batch prep or just make your beans from scratch video. I'll link here and then this would be my green and lentil mixture and some fresh veggies. This is something I made for my daughter last night and she did not touch it. So I'll be eating that in my salad today. But it's basically some sorghum, some quinoa, edamame, and different veggies. We've got tons of fiber in those grains and those beans. And then uh, I try to get six to nine cups of greens per day. So there were some in the pasta, but I'll be getting the majority of them here for my, I call it my lunch just because it's, it's like, it's like three o'clock. I try to eat before three every day so I can have plenty of time to digest before laying down and going to bed at night. I also have tons of seasonings. I'm gonna put on some red cayenne. <laughs> no, of course it's red. I don't know why it says that on the bottle. 
red cayenne, everyone. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using a tiny bit of cayenne for its weight loss components, some cumin, also for the weight loss benefits, but the flavor is delicious too. Some garlic, black pepper, because I'll be using some turmeric. So they combine to really enhance the nutritive components in the turmeric. And then I have some chipotle, because it goes so well with the cilantro. And finally, last but not least, your nutritional yeast. Also for its weight loss benefits. And the taste, I've just grown really accustomed to it. Honestly, I hated it at first. I thought it was so gross that it tasted like cheese. I did not understand why a whole food plant-based vegan would want something to taste like cheese. But I suppose if you're just at the beginning of your transition, fantastic. But I guess for somebody who has done this for a while and my palate has transitioned tremendously, I just am not into cheese or any kind of dairy really, or any kind of meat analog it, it grosses me out to even consider trying to eat like a vegan hot dog or hamburger or something something that's trying to imitate something that i'm actively trying not to eat <laughs> it kind of it doesn't make much sense to me but hey to each their own okay finally i'm gonna add some of this sorghum quinoa mix and here's my kidney beans I always have something prepared in my fridge to just grab, assemble, and go. Balsamic vinegar. Okay, so here's the final product. I know this is super elaborate, and I know I add a ton of ingredients to a lot of my food, but that's because I envision like every meal as an opportunity to get in as much nutrition as possible. As somebody with an autoimmune condition and with a slew of health problems in the past, I appreciate the heck out of my body and I do everything in my power to take good care of it. This is probably not practical for the average person, but I go out of my way and I make it a priority to take as good care of my body as possible to have the best health outcomes. I don't understand what's more important than your health. and. Unfortunately, it took me losing my health to acknowledge that and appreciate that to its fullest extent. I learned when I got diagnosed with celiac disease and I got really, really, really sick and adapted all these other health problems from my poor eating habits, from having a standard American diet for so long, that it's not about the way food tastes anymore for me. It's about what it provides. When you start focusing on that as opposed to the flavor of something, I think it makes everything a lot more clear and a lot more simplistic, even though it may seem a lot more complicated. <laughs> but I'm gonna go enjoy this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more whole food plant-based information. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me.